Hello and welcome to the 69th tutorial in the COCAS 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at the label BM font. We'll be using the source code from the 7th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. COCAS 2D JS provides three different ways for creating labels. To display text, there is label TTF, label BM font and label Atlas font. Label BM font is the one we will cover in this tutorial. It stands for label bitmap font as you use characters from an image and use a font file to access the individual characters. We recommend this over the Atlas label. The biggest thing that differentiates it is that you have a font file and instead of specifying the width and the height of each character on the image, you just access the font file, say you want the letter A from it and the font file knows or has the properties to know where the letter A is and it gets that letter or that character for you. Hence why we recommend the BM font unless for some reason you need the label Atlas. You can use a tool such as Glyph Designer to create the font file. It is paid but it's not too expensive and it is really good. Okay, so let's add the bitmap image assets. I got them from the Cocos 2 djs examples. So we have our PNG. I'll open it up for you. And so we have all the different characters. And then we obviously have a font file which we will access, which gets the coordinates from the PNG. So, or store the coordinates the where the characters are. So if we just copy and paste this to our project directory, go to res, medium res. I'm just going to paste it here. I've just added the asset for medium res as that is what the browser is using. But you will need them for all free resolution folders if you plan on publishing for platforms other than the web. So large, medium, small. To make it easy, when you create it, try and create it for large then just scale it down to medium and small and you should be all good. The next thing we're going to do is go to our resource.js and in here we're going to add another resource, we're going to do label, you can call it whatever you want, I'm just going to keep it simple and call it label bm font underscore png colon folder plus whatever our font was called, so we do bitmap font test2.fnt, that's all we need, we don't need to specify the png because this font file, it looks like the coordinates has the uh, file that he needs to access, he has everything, so we just need to access this one file and as long as the other file is accessible by this file, it's a okay. So if we just save it, the next thing that we're going to do is open up our breadbot. With Before we do that, actually, we're going to open up terminal, change directory to our project directory, run the cocos command, Oh, oh, forgot. I uh, can't believe what I did. I've added the resource, but I haven't coded it so it displays it. So otherwise, we ain't gonna see anything. So yeah, let's create a label. Var label equals new dot yeah cc dot label bm font. And in here, we're gonna specify the text, I'm going to put hello world, then we're going to specify the font, so I'm going to put label, bm font underscore png, not ong, png. Next thing we must specify is position, so label dot set position, and we're just going to center on the screen, so cc dot p, size dot width divided by two, size dot height divided by two, we're going to set the, actually, we'll set this other property afterwards. We'll set, I was going to set the color, but we'll first show you how it looks with the ad set and the color. Dot add child. And in here, we specify the label that we created. I'm going to comment this out so we can just fully see the label instead of the sprite being underneath it. So if we open up our web browser, well, oh, there's our web browser. So if we refresh, Nothing has appeared. I did that as a child to the label. Yep, and uh, let's have a look at the resource. I believe I correctly named this. Copy and paste it from here. Maybe it just needs the history removed. So if we just go back to our web browser. Oh, there we go. It was just loading the font file. So if we just refresh. No, that's an 
another thing to know, just look in the if the particular file that you're accessing or you're just trying to do something with hasn't been loaded or they haven't got it, then the there's a good chance they still try and get it. It's my bad that I didn't look there. Okay, so he says hello world using the text from the file. So if we open up Sublime and we can set the color as well. So if we do label dot set color and for this we're gonna do equals to cc dot color dot red refresh our web browser. Yeah, can't click on the URL. Mm hmm. Let's just make sure that is a, you know, that should be a lowercase c. My bad. Now, if we open up Google Chrome, refresh. Hmm. Let's have a look. So, we've done label. Oh, it's not secular, it's just dot color. There we go, we have our label and it set the color to red. So that's how you use the label atlas, I mean, sorry, not label, la label BM font. There are more functions to change the properties of the label BM font. As an extra test, take a look at these. You can look at the Cocos 2 djs API guide or my personal favorite is to look at the samples and the example provided by Cocos 2 djs uh, as they provide the actual code to make it run so you can run the test, see what you get in, you can modify the test and then put it into your code for more. Just look at that for more information. The next tutorial will cover the UI element, UI button. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube. All the requirements for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.